Welcome one and all so to part two of making my Halloween costume. Last video, we made the centerpiece. We made this wonderful fake deer skull. But now we have to make the rest of my costume. And honestly, I'm still not entirely sure what that's going to be. But one thing that I know I need to make is a hooded cloak. So let's just start with that. Okay, so I've bought a few different kinds of black fabric. So this, I don't know what this is, but this is for the cloak, for the base of it. And then I also have this and this and i thought that maybe i could use this to make the cloak look scarier i don't know i don't i have no plan whatsoever but um let's just make the the cloak the base first and then we can figure out the rest does that sound good because i don't know what else to do also i don't have my tripod right now so we just have to deal with this um but yeah I, i'll do my best to show you guys Okay, I was about to attach the hood, but then I thought maybe I want to add another layer to the neckline that doesn't go all the way to the bottom with one of the other black fabric stuff I have. And that makes sense to do that before attaching the hood. So I now put this on this good old thing and I'm going to try and figure out if I want to use my other fabric. I'm not sure yet, but I'm just going to exper ex experiment a bit now. Okay, I haven't used this yet, but I put the other, the flowy fabric. I attached it to the shoulders right here so that there's like kind of a flowy thing going on in the back. Just to add another layer, another more interesting layer. I think I like this. Hello, intermission me here. In my next video, there will be time for a little bit of a Q&A moment. So if any of you have any questions about me, about my videos, about life, I don't know, anything, then go write a comment or you can also send me a DM on Instagram. And if enough of you are interested in something about me or anything really, then I will do a little a little Q&A segment in the next video. So yeah, write a comment, send me a DM and uh, yeah, uh, intermission me out. Okay, so far I really like the overall look of this. I think it could look even better if the fabric was a bit weathered, but I'm not that familiar with weathering fabric and I'm not sure if I have time for that. So for now, the more important thing is to add something here so that it doesn't fall off my shoulders when I wear it. And I have this little chain of skulls right here and I want to add this to the front so that this will hold the cloak in place. This is still a handheld moment. I still don't have my tripod, but yeah. Um, actually, I don't have the right materials right now to attach this. So let's put the cloak on hold for a bit and let's do my second idea for the costume first. I have exactly two ideas and after that it's just no thoughts, head empty. But yeah, uh, the cloak is my one idea and then also... Oh god, oh, oh, this camera is too heavy for me. And then also um, I'm zooming in. I didn't mean to do that. My second idea is... Um, to use a good stick. I already have one. I went on an epic journey with my brother to find the perfect stick in a forest and we did. And I took it with me and my first idea was to turn this into a scythe and make the blade out of EVA foam. But then I thought fake weapons for costumes that don't look realistic I think always look a bit silly and I don't have the right colors or materials to make a blade look realistic. So I scratched that idea and I thought because the shape of the stick is kind of really wizard wizardy um, that I would turn it into a, I think a wizard would have. First of all, I need to clean the stick up a bit and then I may also want to attach a few uh, glass scraps or crystals or something like that. Okay, so this is the stick I found or like it's more like an entire branch actually, but this is the one I found. I think it already looks very nice on its own. I'm just going to get rid of this. I don't know what it's called, so I'm just going to make trees a hundred times scary now and call this um, skin, the tree skin. Let's skin this branch. But this is what I'm going to do now. Just clean this up a bit and then I also just want to hang some some stained glass crystals from there or something like that. I, I think this, this really looks like I'm about to tell you that you shall not pass. So yeah, I like this. I have this tiny eggs. That's great. It, it, oh my god, this is, this is really, it's just like Minecraft. I, me when I accidentally right click on a, on a log that my friend used to build 
the house. Real life really is just a Minecraft simulator. I hope um, it works with this too. It's kind of a multi-tool, but I don't have anything else, so it has to work. By the way, the camera angles still suck because I still don't have my tripod, so we just have to deal with this. And oh, that's, see, that's my finger. Uh, and in case you've been thinking, hey, this video kind of is less chaotic than the other ones, that's because all the chaos happened off camera. I dropped my camera. Okay, the branch is now as good as it gets, I think. One thing though, there's someone living in here. A little bug, a little, um, those things that turn into bugs later on. I'm not going to evict him because like that's someone's child, but I'm also not too crazy about the idea of um, him living in there. But I'm also not going to carry this stick around the entire evening. So <laughs> I think <laughs> I'm just going to hope that this little guy doesn't crawl out and onto my hand because then I will probably scream. Yeah, well, he's living there now, I guess. But this is now kind of clean and now uh, some glass. Okay, now that that's done, let's get back to the cloak because I still need to attach this skull chain to the front. And then I also found this Halloween decoration fabric spiderweb thingy. I think I'm going to wear a just a black shirt underneath and then I'm going to put this on top so that the part under the cloak looks a bit, little bit more inter interesting because I don't have time to make like an entire outfit. And uh, I was just hoping that the cloak would like cover up most of what I'm wearing underneath it, but I think this will make it a little bit more interesting. But yeah, now, first of all, let's attach these. All right, I think I'm going to leave the cloak like this. I am i don't know what else to add and I really, I don't have time. So I guess me and my, my buddy over here apologize because the second part of the costume really isn't that exciting. But like, as I said, the whole time that I had went into the deer skull. He's right here, by the way. Yeah, so the second part of the costume isn't that exciting, but I think as a whole, it will look great in the end. So um, the cloak is done. The you shall not pass wand is done. And uh, now I just need to attach something to to, this, to the skull that it will stay on my head. Okay guys, I finished the costume. Um, I just added some like elastics to the skull that will go around my neck so that it will stay on top of my head and now it's done and uh, i already filmed the reveal and i'm already going to apologize because it's very scuffed i didn't have anyone to film it for me and it's dark outside and i didn't have good lighting like you can see me but only barely <laughs> i'm barely visible so yeah i'm really sorry about that but uh halloween is literally tomorrow and i had to finish the costume today and i also had to do some decorating and, and i had to prepare some food and stuff uh so i'm stressed i only work under time pressure but i don't work well under time pressure so this video is a mess and i'm very sorry and it's going to get better again i think this is one of the worst videos i've ever made but i promised you guys part two so here is part two and um yeah <laughs> i We'll be back with better stuff, I promise. But yeah, have fun with the reveal. And um, after that, uh, well, I, I, will, I will see you guys next time. Here's the reveal.